Hello everyone. You alright? I'm alright. Good chat. Right, so, I've got a little three-part video for you now. Not as in it's in three parts, but there are three elements to it. So, I've picked three of the most interesting but small little, not even structures, but elements of structures from the Let's Build series that I wanted to kind of put into one video, but also show you a better way of doing each one, because I've learned since showing them how to do them a bit better. So that's going to be the staircase that you probably saw in the first Let's Build, and also on the gatehouse to the castle. Turret emplacements, where they can actually, they're actually defended, it can shoot over railings. And finally, that tower from the last episode of the Let's Build series, but the one you sh would have seen from Sunshine Tidings Carp, so the really big one. Right, so let's start with the staircase first. So I have shown this before, but I've learned a better way of doing it. So don't do what I just did then. Grab two shack floors, but you can, you can make them as big as you like, I guess. You can you do three, four, I'm going to do two for the sake of this video, because I'm boring like that. So grab some stairs. These, as you probably know, they sink in. So what you want to do is get one stairs on this side. Get it nice and straight. Now I could try and dick around and do that, but you want it to be perfectly clipping properly. That, that, that sentence didn't make any sense. You wanted to clip correctly. So actually do this. And not that. And don't do that. I'm testing you. One second. Get in there, you fucking little prick. Get in. Two seconds. Grabbing a moment. Right, okay, there we go. So that way you can just snap the stairs onto the boards, which just keeps them straight. So again, rinse and peat. Doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Now, fine. Go to the board. That one was being significantly less of a tosser, which is brilliant. Now that's basically it. I made them too high, but obviously you're noticing already you've got these floating shack floors. It looks a little bit ridiculous. Don't panic. Don't quickly unsubscribe and hit dislike and open another account and then hit dislike five or six more times. If you go to shack foundations, you can put them on the side like this. You can. Totally can. I'm not lying. Um, they're a bit fiddly though. There we go. So, normally if you guys probably notice, I've done these, always done these stairs after building, because I always forget about them. But do with the first for now on, because, I mean, it obviously looks a little bit weird from the back, but once you've got, say, you know, six foundations, and you've built a structure over this, you just won't notice those boards. Um, and it just kind of gives a, a different style of staircase. Um, obviously you can still use the other stairs, I still use them all the time, but the thing is, they look more like ladders. Um, it looks very much like London right now, so it just seems to be the game's been doing that recently. And bad luck with the weather. Let's truck on. So, the turret emplacements. These are pretty cool, and it uses the exact, more or less the exact same technique for what I've just used there, except with the purpose of raising the turrets up. So, I'm going to pop a little just emplacement here. So, what we want to do <coughs> is get these stairs, get them centred first because you want them, I mean you can put them side by side but they're really difficult to get the railings on so I'm only going to do one and plus it's, I don't know, it's just cool okay, so get them so they're centred now get them so they're in the middle basically you want it just before, you see that post is right there in the, in the middle, you want it just before that Still bang on the middle, grand. And then we go and get our wee little shack floors again. Is that a little bit too far forward? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I still a little bit. There we go. Grand. And then we go and get our railings like this. Place them down like that. This is I, I, same with how I do my generators, where I allow myself to use a slight repetition of the railings because for some weird reason it looks nice on a small scale like this. But you can still alternate or do whatever the fuck you like. So, the reason why I wanted that as close as possible is because that looks like it's attached to the railings. So it looks like it's structurally supported. Um, you can also use the, the fence posts if you really want. So these, you can go here and put them on the side like that. And they, they sink quite closely and it looks like they're supported. But in this instance, I just don't like the way they poke over the top. So, and now we can just pop down a turret... There we go. And voila, look at that. It just, 
like I said, we can put two down if we want. We could even put them next to each other. Um, it just gives you a little bit more of a uh, kind of a turret emplacement. You know, it's a bit more raised. It, it's also the fact is, I, you know, I can take the stairs off and just block it off so no one melee-wise can actually get in there. Um, right, now, the tower. So, it's very straightforward to do. And I'm just going to show you how to do the technique, and then I'm actually going to go, because I've already pre-made the awkward part for you, but I'm going to show you how to do part of it first. So, using a shack foundation like that, plop one on the top like that. Now, we're going to be using our best BFF, the rug glitch. You all love the rug glitch, don't you? I'm also using this opportunity to re-clarify again how to do it, because I suspect some people aren't doing it properly. So, two floor mats like that. You don't have to use two. I use two because it just gives me a better reach. It works, right? I'm using a flat. I know they're on top of each other. Now, to guarantee it works. Now, this might not connect, but you need to have it so flat surface. And I put a big run under, rug under the top. And voila, it works. Now, to grab the rug, you just tap X or A or whatever. You don't hold it down. So, I'm tapping it. Grabbed. If I hold X, it's going to do this. Right? It does work. If it doesn't work, you probably not put the rugs. If that is flat on top of there, it's working. Right? I just wanted to re clarify that. I'm not pissed off at answering the question. It's just that I just want to. I might even re clarify again in another video if people keep doing it wrong. Um, so let's grab a junk fence. Like so. <clears throat> And we basically... See? It's, it's working. It's working. Okay, technically I haven't updated my game in ages because I've turned off all updates. But it's still working for me and it's still working for a lot of people who updated the game recently. Um, and you basically just sink this in here like this. I'll pull it back a wee bit, actually. There you go. And basically that looks like it's structurally supporting a kind of a junk tower. But rather than have me do the rug glitch four times, which would just be the same shit over again... Here is one I made earlier, and it's also a lot bigger. So what I've got done is the exact same technique, and I've just alternated between that junk fence and the one of the tires, and just alternate them around and made a nice little kind of a scrappy tower. But let's build the top now. So what we need to do, I mean, you can do it any way you like. I'm going to do it like this. <clears throat> I'm going to get a small shack floor. Build my wee staircase that I build all the time because I absolutely love these stair staircases because they are the bomb. I just said the bomb. Why is that connecting? Thank you. Why did I just say the bomb? Ugh. Right. Next, we put the bridge in. Just because, quick note on this. When you're using the, the bridge to kind of sink it under these, like this, if I were to put the staircase on first when it's this low down, if it was a little bit higher, it'd be fine. Um, You'll find that the, the, the bridge will, like, fly off and... Yeah, just basically put the second staircase on last. And you can sink it in. Don't have it touching like that, or you won't be able to get the staircase on or attach the railings. A little bit lower. Uh, a little bit higher than that, though. There we go. Okay. And again, a little higher than that. There we go. Okay. So that's not stairs. Those are roofs. That's what we learned today. I'll put it are not connecting. Oop, see, this is why you have that little bit. Okay. Yeah, one second. There we go. There we go. That's fine. It's fiddly, but once you've got it in, it works really grand. So, just pop some railings on here. Whatever the hell you like. Quick note, I really don't like this one. It's too spindly. It pisses me off. So, upstairs. Now, I'm going to build the exact one I did in Sunshine Tidings, just because I really like the way it looks. And with this being a guard tower, um, I wanted it to be kind of open at the top. So, I'm just going to build these here so I have some room to work with. Right, make sure I'm facing the right way, because when I did in Sunshine Tidings, I may have built it completely the wrong direction. Okay, so we just squeeze that in. I know someone's going to ask me how to do this, so I'm now holding X. 
and it allow and you're moving the left bumper and it allows me to move things around like that or whatever the corresponding button is on your console or PC or demon machine that whatever you're using um so let's just snap that there let's snap that there don't be a knobhead you twat thank you yeah obviously when you're doing things like this it's gonna be a fiddly I mean if I wanted to I could you know um go to the stairs and actually use the further surface um I could have actually surrounded the boards but that seemed rather tedious even if it would have probably in the long term been more or less time consuming than this so there we go we've now got our open air at the top now let's pop some railings around the outside now I'm gonna try and sink in I'll just demonstrate because normally with the for those of you who watch the other let's build you can sink in the guard post in these and let's just do this part first so you can see right so oopsie there we go that like that it's some rather funky looking guard tower but also what we can do if we like mix things up a little bit is we can go to our guard posts and kind of sink them into the sides so what you can do is you could for example have them in the corner like this with um the one story ones if you make them one side you can actually just kind of squeeze this in like that but with these ones I'm gonna have them like this and look a bit weird if I want like this the good thing about these is um you, the barbed wire is gonna be clipping through the front um but there's different styles you can use but there we go so there is our giant guard tower with guard posts at the top and that means there are guards going to be standing looking out the front um, and you can decorate them with flags so I hope you enjoyed that guys um, if you like the idea of me doing kind of three little I guess mini structures per episode let me um, kind of per video shall we say let me know because I'll try and think of smaller weirder things to kind of put in the future anyway you guys enjoy your day take care